2023 Lamborghini Urus Performante First Drive, Complex Corner Carver. The horsepower war is over. The handling war is on. Cars like the Audi RS5 Coupe and Sportback with the Competition Plus package and Porsche's stunning new GT3 RS cars we've driven in just the past few weeks suggest a paradigm shift is coming in the performance car business. In an era when modern EV technology means pretty much anyone these days can build a 2000 horsepower car that will launch so hard it'll shred your intestines on the way to an insanely low 0 to 60 time, developing internal combustion engines that pump out ever more power to deliver marginal improvements in acceleration times and top speed is increasingly a zero-sum game. But building a road car chassis with the hardware and software that allows enthusiastic and engaged drivers to be whole seconds faster around a racetrack than their rivals? That's a more complex skill set. Which perhaps explains this emerging focus from brands keen to polish their performance credentials on chassis tuning that delivers driving precision and driver exhilaration in equal measure. The 2023 Lamborghini Urus Performante, which is scheduled to arrive in the US before the end of the year and will be priced from $260,676, is the newest harbinger of this trend. Performance is more than straight-line speed. The Urus Performance 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 develops just 15 more horsepower than the regular Urus power plant and the same torque. The fact that it's three-tenths of a second faster to 60 miles per hour and 1.3 seconds quicker to 124 miles per hour than the regular Urus has more to do with its slight reduction in weight, better traction, faster and smoother gear shifts, and improved aerodynamics. The whole point of the Urus Performante is not how much quicker it is than the regular Urus in a straight line, it's how much quicker it is through the corners. The mission was to make this the best driver's car in the segment, Lamborghini Chief Technical Officer Roven Moore said. And that was about how the car involves the driver in the driving experience. That's why Lamborghini spent most of the Urus Performance Engineering Development budget on the chassis. The first step was to ditch the height-adjustable air suspension in the regular Urus in favor of steel springs and magnetoreological shocks whose compression and rebound rates could be made softer or firmer depending on which drive mode was selected. Why? In air suspension you have rubber and compressed air, so you have non-linearities in the way the suspension behaves, more explained. With steel springs, you always have predictable, linear behavior. And that means the shocks can be precisely tuned to enhance the superior body control the steel springs deliver, and the car can be fitted with tires that respond much more quickly to lateral inputs and loads. There are no race cars on the planet with air suspension because from the dynamic point of view, it's not the right choice, said Moore, who has a PhD in numerical mechanics, a delectable fleet of performance machinery in his personal garage, and who used to build and drive drift cars for fun. If you speak about the best interaction of the car with the driver from a sporty point of view, there is no way around steel suspension. The steel sprung Aorus Performante rides 0.8 inch lower than the air suspended Aorus in its default ride height setting, and its track has been widened by 0.6 inch. The active anti-roll system has been carried over from the standard Aorus but has been tuned to take advantage of the greater precision of the steel spring suspension, as have the rear-wheel steering and torque vectoring systems. The massive 17.3-inch front, 14.6-inch rear carbon ceramic brakes are unchanged, but the Urus Performance standard 22-inch wheels can be fitted with a new, grippier high-performance Pirelli P0 Trophy Art tire 285-40 up front and 325-35 at the rear that's been specially developed for the car and is available as an option. Sharp-eyed enthusiasts will be able to spot the go-fast poseurs by the optional 23-inch wheels on their Aorus Performance, those dubs are not available with Trophio or tires. As before, the 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8, which makes 656 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 627 lb-ft of torque from 2,300 RPM to 4,500 RPM, drives through an 8-speed automatic transmission. 
However, the transmission has been reprogrammed to be smoother and more responsive, especially in manual mode, and sends drive to all four wheels through a torsion center differential that's been set up to send more torque to the rear axle under acceleration. A meaner look. Lamborghini design chief Mitja Borkert has given the Urus Performante a visual makeover, but it's not simply intended to make Santa Gata Bolognese's scowling super SUV look even more like Darth Vader in a bad mood. A redesigned front bumper features a larger splitter and new intakes to improve cooling and help create an air curtain over the front wheels. Vents in the reprofiled hood help reduce air pressure in the engine compartment. The new rear bumper has vents behind the rear wheels and a new diffuser layout between the Bazooka Caliber quad exhausts, and a rear wing extends from the roof over the backlight. The new hood of the Urus Performante is made of carbon fiber, part of a weight reduction program that includes a titanium exhaust, lightweight interior trim, forged alloy wheels, and an optional carbon fiber roof. The Viper Green shown here is the Urus Performance Hero color, though Lamborghini will paint one pretty much any shade you desire. The visible carbon fiber treatment on the hood is an option. Inside, black Alcantara with a new hexagonal stitching design on the seating is standard, with leather available as an option. Other options include the extension of the Performante trim on the doors, roof lining, and seat backrests, as well as matte carbon fiber and red door handles. New, dedicated Doris Performante graphics feature on both the central screen and the dash. What does it all add up to? Moore says the chassis hardware and software tweaks deliver a 5% improvement in both steering response and grip levels, the styling changes a 10% improvement in aerodynamic efficiency and 38% increase in rear axle downforce, and the lightweight components a 103-pound reduction in the overall mass. These may not sound like big numbers, but they add up to a Lamborghini Urus that indeed feels much more driver-focused, as we discovered on the fast yet technical 2.5-mile Autodromo Vallelunga, 20 miles north of Rome. On Vallelunga's slow to mid-speed corners, where the regular Urus requires some patience, preferring you to wash off speed before deliberately committing to the apex, the Urus perform anti-darts for apexes like a hungry shark, especially in Corsa mode, which dials up all the car's chassis drivetrain and systems to DEFCON 1 and dials back the interventions from the stability control system. Such is the rapid and concise turn-in response from the front end that it's hard to believe the Performante is built on the same engine forward, nose-heavy VW Group architecture that also underpins Bentley's Bentayga. Want to tighten your line? Lift off the gas, and the big lumbo will obediently pivot, the tail's lateral acceleration easily caught with a touch of counter-steer and throttle. Spotted your exit point? Punch the gas and feel the rear tires hook up and launch the car out of the corner. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.